Bounds. Hi guys, this is again your friendly turkey neighbor Gideon Boniel and from our previous episode we have talked about controlling LED by button and for this episode, our lesson 2, we will control LED by pulse width modulation. Welcome to our lesson 2, controlling LED by PWM or pulse width modulation. Introduction, in this lesson, let's try something a little easier, gradually changing the luminance of an LED through programming. Since the pulsing light looks like breathing, we give it a magical name, Breathing LED. We'll accomplish this effect with pulse width modulation or PWM. Components use one Arduino Uno board, one breadboard, jumper wires, one LED, and one resistor with 220 ohms value, and one USB cable. For the principle, Pulse width modulation or PWM is a technique for getting analog results with digital means. Digital control is used to create a square wave, a signal switch between on and off. This on and off pattern can simulate voltages in between full on or 5 volts and off 0 volts by changing the portion of the time the signal spends on versus the time the signal spends off. The duration of on time is called the pulse width. To get varying analog values, you can change or modulate the pulse width. If you repeat this on-off pattern fast enough with an LED for example, the result is as if the signal is a steady voltage between 0 and 5 volts, controlling the brightness of the LED. See the PWM description on the official website of Arduino for more details. But for the definition, duty cycle describes the proportion of on time to the regular interval or period of time. Period describes the reciprocal of pulses in one second. The voltage amplitude here is 0 volts to 5 volts. So for our experimental procedures, first step or step 1 is to build the circuit. So we have a circuit here, illustration of, of an LED resistor and it's connecting wires to the Arduino Uno board using also the breadboard. For the record, this is the schematic diagram. So this is the Arduino Uno. So the pins are already laid out here. So you can see PWM pins here are labeled also by PWM. This A here are, represents the analog um, pins. So for pulse width modulation, we're also going to use PWM, PWM pins 6, 5, 3, 9, 10, or whatever you choose from these pins. But for our activity here, we will also using specific pin numbers. For the step 2, we need to program. So please refer to the example. Let's com step 3 is to compile the code. Step 4, upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board. After that, you should see the LED gets brighter and brighter and then slowly dimmer just like breathing so this is the actual diagram of what is the actual connection between the led a resistor connecting wires and the arduino uno so again guys for this lesson all we need is arduino uno board the led or light emitting diode the uh, 220 ohms resistor to jumping wire jumper wires and this USB cable So first let's try to put all these things on the breadboard So as you can see the longer side of The LED is the positive side So let's put it on the breadboard So the positive side is here, the negative side is here. So as our indicator, before we proceed, um, let's put this resistor to the in line with the positive side of the LED. As you can see, I put it there. So they're now aligned together. And then in the Arduino Uno, let's connect the ground side of the LED using this wire, the black wire. Always use black wire as ground when uh, connecting to the Arduino board. So we have ground here. 
ground and then this blue wire as our pin connector this one will go to of the positive one in line with the resistor to limit the, fl the flow of the current so since we use the PWM PWM pin in the Arduino board should be used also so let's use the pin number 9 which is a PWM um, connect um, pin number so that's it that's how easy to connect these wires so you can see and then the last touch is the USB cable so we can upload the program so again this will be our connection here so you can see then let's try try to upload the program or the code assuming that you have already compiled the program okay done uploading and as you can see the LED starts to it gets brighter so let's turn off our lights here the dimming and the, the brightness is being controlled by within our program since we have a for loop here this is our code for controlling led by pwm so as you can see here for our pin number nine we declared it as constant integer led pin is equal to nine so that's pin number nine which is a pulse with modulation pin on the arduino board and for our void setup we declared led pin as output okay so pin mode this is a syntax pin mode parenthesis led pin the the name of your um, led and then comma it's either input or output so since it's output we declare output and for the void loop again this will be the code that will be run again and again and again as long as the condition are written inside its for uh, its loop is being run by the program on the arduino board okay so the the loop here is a for loop so as you can see here for int a is equal to zero so a is equal to zero and then semicolon a is less than or equal to 255 a plus plus it means that um, the value of a will increment as long as it's less than or equal to 255 so from zero it will increment add up to 255 okay so that's the value so if it's met again every single every single incrementation of this program we have here written analog right so led pin comma a so analog right delay 8 microseconds delay each at each iteration of this program okay so it will light up and for if after it it met the 255 value another for loop is executed another for loop here is executed so inside this for loop we have for after this for loop we have another for loop for int a is equal to 55 so after the value is 255 is met on the program in our void loop there's a condition here that a is equal to 255 if then semicolon this is the syntax for for loop a now greater than or equal to zero a minus minus the value will decrement from 255 to zero so a is greater than or equal to zero a minus minus analog right led pin a so the delay is eight microseconds so after this is this function is being implemented there is a 800 microseconds delay before it runs again back to this program we just learned how to control led 
by Pulse Wave Modulation. And for our next episode, it will be interactive LEDs, flowing lights. Thank you.